He's there. You're watching BBC Two, and now it's time to join Peter Hobday for this Monday's edition of Newsnight. Good evening. Well, so now we know. Three cabinet ministers sacked, the cabinet changes, and a long list of promotions and demotions in the junior ranks. Mrs. Thatcher is well and truly shuffled her cabinet. Well, in a moment, we'll be looking at the rout of the wets and whether the prime minister has got the cabinet that'll give her no more trouble as she pushes on with her hardline policies. Vincent Hanna looks at the key change, Norman Tebbits to the Department of Employment. And Mr Tebbit tells us how tough he's going to be with the unions. He's knocked out and Simpson has won the European middleweight title. Tell you what, Simpson can't punch, can he? A very interesting fight indeed in prospect there, Minter against Simpson tomorrow night. Well, just three uh, football matches tonight, all in the League Cup first round. Wins there for Mansfield, Port Vale and Wigan. And indeed, those three sides go through to the next round on aggregate. Thank you, David. Well, now, Mrs. Thatcher's shuffled a cabinet. It'd be rather nice if she could do something about shuffling the weather. Tomorrow, the north of Scotland and eastern districts of England will start the day wet and windy. Western and central parts of England, Wales and western Scotland will have a mainly dry day, though the more northwestern areas will have scattered showers. Well, the temperatures, well, not bad. 16 degrees in the north to 20 degrees in the south. That's 61 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Finally, let's just have a last look at tomorrow morning's headlines. No need to guess what they're all leading on. The Morning Star, Thatcher clears the decks for a blitz on the unions. The Daily Mail, Maggie dries out the cabinet. And the Daily Express coming up with a very similar headline, Maggie dries out the Wests. It's the Sun, though, that says Maggie's Monday Massacre. A nice bit of alliteration there. But I think it's my favourite comment is the, the Stayed Times, which comes up with a nice little pocket cartoon by Kalman. A dejected figure that Kalman always draws so well, sitting on the steps of number 10 saying, she loves me, she loves me not. Well, that's it from this edition of Newsnight. We'll be back tomorrow night. Hope you'll join us then. Until then, from us all, a very good night to you. Good night. As we heard in Newsnight, the 1981 Liberal Party Assembly begins tomorrow in Llandidno. BBC Two cameras will be bringing live coverage of the debate starting at 2.50 with the reporting team of Robin Day and David Dimbleby. Well, that's tomorrow afternoon on two. And tonight is twice two with Laurel and Hardy. Scram. No, I'm not being impolite. That's the title of tomorrow night's Roland Hardy film, starting at 11.40. Now the time is just after 10 past 12, and it's almost time for us to leave you. Just before we go, let me remind you that you can go on being entertained by Radio 2, which stays on the air throughout the night. In a moment, we'll leave you with some music. Just before that, on behalf of all of us on 2 tonight, this is Clive Roslin wishing you a peaceful night and a happy day tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>